just the fact that we're here is to let you know that something is happening. The street profits are up, and, and what do you guys want? I don't know, man. I want do you this like, hair. Right, you, do you really? You don't want ginger hair. Come on. I don't want this hair, man. What's do you? On, man? And you got a face sweater? What? You got what? a face sweater? You see this? You're preparing for the fall already, huh? Yeah. Big time. He's always Big smooth, time. man. What's always going on? smooth. What's Talking about smooth. I mean, look at this nah, bad boy. Nah, I, I knew you were here today. That's why. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah making yeah, the effort yeah, just for me. Appreciate that. No. Appreciate that. Um, are Street Profits going to have a match at Clash of the Castle? Because nothing's been announced yet. If not, why not? So it's a little bit under wraps, but just the fact that we're here is to let you know that something is happening. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we like being everywhere. I mean, if you haven't seen this week and last week and the week before that in the last few months, we've been on Raw and SmackDown, Purple Game, you know. So obviously we're here. Anytime there's a big event, big festival, big spectacle, the street profits are there. There is no big spectacle without the street profits. That's what we're saying. Um, Angelo Dawkins, you are an incredible performer. You're amazing in the ring. You're a great promo. You have all the tools to be a heavyweight champion. Oh, thank you. I, I really honestly believe that. Thank you. However, so much is said about Montez being a future superstar. Does that get frustrating for you? Ah. Uh, honestly, I don't. That's my boy. That's my brother right here, man. I, I think the same thing. Uh, I think, honestly, I think uh, he's going to go do great things, and uh, I got his back no matter what. I think more of the frustration comes in where people talk about me and what they say about me, and it's like, all right, y'all must not know who I am, so now I got to show y'all who I am. And I've been doing it ever since. <laughs> So you so you got Montez's back no matter what. No, matter no what. one's going through the barbershop window. Nah. Oh, we said it. we go to the same barbershop. Why would we do that? Yeah. If we break the damn barbershop, where are we supposed to get our face at? Yeah, who gonna pay for that? Pay I ain't got money for that. Uh, I ain't trying to pay their insurance bill. They probably got Geico or Nationwide or something. Diapers cost? Yeah. I got diapers to buy still. Yeah, insurance clauses. My insurance will go up, their insurance will go up. It's, it's a lot of money going on. We're street profits. Not Sponsored street, by Progressive. Not, not street deficits, yeah. you know? Yeah, that's fair. You know? That's fair. Um, so, I in all seriousness, though, you've achieved so much as a tag team. Your, your run with the Usos has been, in been incredible. Do you think there's much more to achieve? Have you had that discussion about singles runs? And are you excited about that prospect? Or is there nervousness around it because you've got such incredible chemistry together? It's, it's uh, definitely, like, something and a lot more things that we want to accomplish. Uh, just for the simple fact that we're trying to win back the Raw Tag Team Championships that we never lost. Yeah. We actually got them traded off in the draft year before last and also, uh, you know, winning the undisputed tag team championships. That's something we haven't done as a team as well. Won the Raw and SmackDown and NXT and Evolve, respectively, tag team championships. But to have the Raw and SmackDown undisputed tag team championships together as a team, something that we haven't done. So that's still a task we're trying to do. That's still the focus at hand, and we're not really deterring off of that. You know, we have, you know, We've had interviews that will bring up the discussions that are happening. But it's great discussions. Just let us know that not only we're a great unit, but we're great individual units. Yeah. But we're a team. That's what we focused on. Not really letting the focus detour off because that kind of takes off the task at hand, you know. What's been your proudest moment together in WWE so far? Ooh. Proudest moment? Dang. I got to say... When we beat Seth Rollins for the uh, Raw Tag Team Championships. Barclays, yep. 2020, yeah. right before the world went to madness. <laughs> yeah. What a mad world. I'm talking a mad world. Vince McMahon is gone. Triple H has taken over creative. Personally, what changes have you seen with regards to backstage environment, but also the product itself? I think uh, for the most part, just speaking on our behalf, everything's been the same. Like, no matter who our boss is, like, we're always going to do what the task is at hand, what's been asking from us, and to go out there and do what we do best is entertain the WWE Universe. And uh, I think for us it's been the same, just making sure that we keep this thing going just as strong, if not stronger than it has before. Do you feel like there's more freedom when it comes to promos and what you can do in the ring? 
I mean, we pretty much do what we want anyway, <laughs> so it don't really matter. This is yeah, usual we, for us. So we walk around the place like we own it. So I eating mean, shirts like that. Yeah, yeah. We kind of own the place, so you might have to talk to somebody else about what's the difference because <laughs> we do what the hell we want. And so. That's what I like to hear. Uh, finally, prediction: Drew versus Roman. Who have you got? Drew. Big Drew. Big, Big Drew. Money Drew, Hunter. man. Big Money Drew. It's happening. Undisputed World Heavyweight Championship. The two-year reign is coming to an end by Big Drew. What it do? Boom. Street Profits, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.